Hey, thanks for watching Weekly Word. I appreciate so much you being with us each week, and I hope that uh, these are finding a spot of encouraging you and refreshing your life uh, as you go through the week. Uh, you know, the Bible says in Psalm uh, 25, verse 14, that the Lord confides in those who trust Him. I think it's in the King James Version that it says, the Lord reveals secrets to those who confide in Him. You know, have you ever been surprised uh, that of uh, opening up a package of what the outside of the package looks like uh, compared to what's on the inside? Now, I don't mean to brag. I really am not bragging. It's just true. I love to give gifts, and I especially love to give gifts to people that in my family and people that I love. I especially love to give gifts to my wife, Sandra, my son, and my daughter-in-law, Mitchell and Alicia. Uh, but I am not known for my wrapping of gifts. I'm known for giving good gifts, but not for my wrapping. In fact, if I'm at a store and they say, would you like for us to wrap this? The answer is yes, I don't care how much because my wrapping is a, a not a very accomplished work. In fact, sometimes it's pretty ugly. And there have been many times at Christmas and on birthdays when I have wrapped a gift and Sandra's been opening it and she will laugh because the corners are not right and there's so much tape and it doesn't match up. And sometimes I've even cut the paper too short and it doesn't all, go all the way around the box. Sometimes the outside doesn't look good, but I'm gonna tell you something. When she opens up the gift, it's impressive on the inside. You know, sometimes God sends people our way and gifts our way that we don't let think look much, look like much. It's a bad, uh, ugly outward appearance. Not much to it. Maybe it's even something that's difficult in our life, a trial, a, a struggle, a health issue. Maybe it's a person that crosses our path and we go, you know, why am I wasting time with this person? It's because you don't know what secret God might want to reveal. What diamond might jump out of that experience of your life that you think on the outside looks so crude and rough, but God's got something on the inside that he wants to confide in you about, a secret. He wants to reveal himself. You think about in the tabernacle in the wilderness when Moses is leading the children of God through the wilderness, uh, that they set up this tabernacle. God gave clear instructions of what it was to be on the inside, what it was to look like. But that tabernacle had to be mobile because when the cloud moved that was leading them, when God was leading them through the wilderness and the cloud moved, they had to pack up everything and let's go. And that included the tabernacle. The Bible tells us the outside of the tabernacle was made up of material and the skins of badgers and other animals. Patchwork, not really that impressive on the outside. But what was impressive about the tabernacle was not the outside. What was impressive about the tabernacle was what was on the inside. Because what was on the inside was the Ark of the Covenant. The presence of God dwelt there and a cloud hovered over it, and a pillar of fire at night hovered over it, reminding everyone that God was with them, reminding everyone that inside this crude-looking tent was the valuable jewel of God Himself. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a person by their outward appearance. Don't judge sometimes a trial and difficulty that comes your way by what's going on the outside. Because who knows what secret God might want to confide in you. He reveals the secret things to those who fear Him. To fear Him means that we trust in Him, that we look to Him, that we revere Him, that our eyes are fixed on Him. So as you go through this week, who knows what secret God might want to share in your life. And who knows what rough package might be on the outside. May God bless you and strengthen you as you go through this week. We'll see you again next week. I give my praise to the only one who defeated death. 
begotten Son who came to earth and promised return. I give my praise to the only one, Jesus, you're my King. Jesus, you're my King. With the crown of thorns and the heavenly throne, Jesus, you're my King. I give my praise to the sacrifice I owed a debt. He paid the price and oh, a joy that comes from Christ. I give my praise to the sacrifice. Jesus, you're my King. Jesus, you're my King. With the crown of thorns and the heavenly throne. Jesus, you're my King. I give praise to the risen one with whose death the veil was torn between heaven and earth so we shall be reborn i give my praise to the risen one jesus your my king You're my king with the crown of thorns and the heavenly throne. Jesus, you're.